Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through how you can integrate various cinematic universes directly into Kodi. Just a reminder, uh, if you'd like to support the channel, there are affiliate links now in the video description. As you can see here, we've got a Kodi installation running. This particular installation is running the Aeon Knox MQ8 skin. And we can see on the main menu here that we have an option that we've added called universes. So we've got our standard movies, TV, music. We've also got this universes tab that we've added. And if you hit down, you can see the sub menu includes the Marvel MCU, the Star Wars universe, and the Harry Potter Wizarding World universe. So from here we can click one of these items, for example, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And we can see here that we've got all the films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the specific order in which we want to watch them. They are not ordered in the order in which they were actually released. If we back out of here, back to the main menu, we can do the same thing with, for example, the Star Wars Universe. And we've got all the films, in this case, in chronological order, but we can put these in any order that we like. And we've got the Harry Potter Wizarding World universe in here as well, uh, sorted in chronological order. So to set this up, it's not terribly difficult, uh, but it can be quite confusing. So I will walk you through how to do that now. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to the directory where our movies are currently being stored. So for us, I've got that on our file server in a folder called movies. These movies were previously in the directory called PG rated, but I created a new folder called cinematic universes and I just moved all the movies that are part of a cinematic universe into this cinematic universes folder. And if you navigate into this folder, then we've got Marvel, Star Wars and Wizarding World. So let's look at Marvel here. We moved all the films in the Marvel cinematic universe into this folder on our server and then we are going to actually rename each of these movies so that they match a particular naming convention so i've created this folder called mcu.txt which more or less lists the order in which i want these films to appear so what we've done here is we've created our own unique identifier for the marvel cinematic universe that we just call mcu and then we've got these numbers at the as a prefix here. And what we've done here is generally speaking between each mainline film, I've left 10 open positions. So for example, the first movie I've set as MCU 010 and the second movie I've set as MCU 020. So what this allows us to do is as this cinematic universe continues to evolve and develop and new films are released, we have 10 spaces between the first and second film and 10 spaces between the second and third film and so forth all the way through this chain of films so that as this uh, universe grows if marvel releases three four five films that fit between captain america the first avenger and captain marvel we can actually just slide those in here without interfering with any of the existing films without having to rename any files so what we've done here is I've created a phase one, phase two, and phase three uh, separator. And then I've created these prefixes that I prefixed to all the films. So for example, for Captain America, First Avenger, we're going to go into that directory and we can see here that I have renamed the film from the Captain America First Avenger to have this prefix. So it says MCU 010, so it matches the text file. And then I've gone through every single film in the universe and renamed it based on my text file. Be sure that when you do this, that you add this prefix to all the files in the directory because that's going to contain your thumbnails, your trailers, and other information about the films. So once you've renamed all the films, you can see here, so there's MCU 020 for Captain Marvel. And if we looked at Captain Marvel, zero, MCU 020. Okay, so once we've renamed all the files and we've got everything the way that we want, the next step is to create a smart playlist. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a smart playlist. So we're going to navigate to videos and then playlists and then we want the new smart playlist. Okay, and then under the type we're going to make it movies. Okay, and I've named mine actually Marvel Cinematic Universe, but you can name it anything that you want. I've just put MCU in here as a placeholder. And then the rule that we're going to apply is going to be the file needs to start with a value of MCU. And then click OK. And then we see once we save that playlist, we now have this MCU playlist here. And if we click on it, there's all the films in the universe. So we're going to create one of these for each cinematic universe that we want to implement here. So in this example, I'll just show you the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'll delete this playlist. Okay. Okay, so once we have created our playlists for our cinematic universe and we've tested that the playlist works, the next thing that we're going to want to do is create a new node on the main menu here to hold our universes value. I've already got universes on, so I'm going to go disable that so I can walk you through how to do this. So I'm going to go to settings, skin settings, uh, customize main menu, and then I'm going to just temporarily disable my universe. Okay, so we're going to turn that off. Okay, so from your main menu, what you're going to do is you're going to go to... Okay, I just want to make sure that's gone. We're going to go to settings, and then go to skin settings, and then go to customize main menu. And then from here, we're going to pick, click an empty item. So click empty. We're going to replace this menu with videos playlists. Okay, and then we are going to rename this to Universe. Here's a little tricky, and it's hard for me to demonstrate this, but here we're actually, while we're highlighted on the universe, we're going to click the left arrow, not the right arrow. The right arrow brings you to these customizations. Okay, we're going to go use the left arrow. Okay, so if you click the left arrow, it will bring up the submenu options. So we're going to click the first submenu option. We are going to pick video playlist. And then we're going to click the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And then we want to change the name of this from video playlist to... Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, so now if we back all the way back to the home main menu again, we should now see our new universe node. And if we hit down, we see we've got the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And if we click option, then we see we've got our cinematic universe in here. So the last bit that we want to do is customize the background. So we want to go to settings, skin settings, main menu, customize main menu. And then here we want to choose the option that says uh, change backdrop multiple images. And then it's going to ask you to navigate to a folder and you're just going to pick a folder that you have, a fan art folder somewhere in your hard drive that you've got the images that you want to display in the background, you click OK, click back, click back, click back. Now if we go to universes, we should see, yes, we see our nice background and there we go. We've got the universes is now integrated into our main menu and we can jump right to the Marvel Cinematic Universe or DC Universe or Star Wars or Harry Potter or whatever other universes we may have. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, 
feel free to ask me any questions that you want in the comments and we'll talk to you guys later.